Dr. Energy Saver is called out to this house to upgrade it. This house was originally a Sears and Roebuck house. There was a time when you could buy a house from Sears and Roebuck through a catalog and they'd come and uh, put it up for you. Most of this house has no insulation in it. So what we're gonna do today is inject the walls with what we call I-foam, injection foam. And it's a way that we can insulate walls on a house that's already constructed. Let me show you how we do it. The first step is to drill holes to access the wall cavities from the outside. If there's vinyl siding, the vinyl siding is removed, the holes are drilled, plugged after the foam is injected, and then the vinyl siding is put back on. If there's shingles, shingles can be removed and put back over the holes. In clapboard, typically, we drill right through the clapboard and plug them with uh, cedar uh, plugs afterwards. If we look in this hole, we can see, first of all, that the fiberglass insulation is dirty. When it's dirty, we know the air is flowing through this wall cavity and that fiberglass is just acting as a filter. And we also see that there's a big air space, not only in front of the insulation, but look at this, behind the insulation as well. So the, the wall cavity is that deep and we only have that much insulation in it. And that is not, really not doing anything because as this air flows through this wall cavity, the same air is on both sides of the insulation. Insulation is to resist heat flow. So if this stick were insulation and we had hot air on this side and cold air on this side, heat moves from more to less, the insulation would resist that heat flow. However, we can see we have the same air on both sides. So if this, was, this stick was the best insulation in the world, but we had the same temperature air on both sides, what is it resisting for heat flow? Nothing. And when you have loose insulation, it's like having a very loose coat on in, in the wintertime. Air can get underneath your coat, you still feel cold, you're losing heat. You want to have it against your body and uh, B, you, want, you don't want any air leaking through. So typically we see in a winter coat, you have the stuffing, which is the insulation, but you have a nylon shell, which is the air barrier. And here we have very loose stuffing. We know that uh, uh, wall construction is very leaky through many different ways in between the siding, around uh, wall trims, through wall penetrations. That's all we need for air to get in these wall cavities and basically short circuit the uh, R value or the insulating value of the insulation. It is absolutely amazing how much foam insulation goes into a wall cavity that's already supposedly insulated. And this foam is coming out of this hose right now at high velocity. I'm going to show you just how high the velocity is. Go. That's high velocity. 